All right, welcome back to the Arabian Open Masters Tournament, hosted by Adigo and the Rising Empires community. We've got sort of here, the bottom side of the map, the yellow trunks is Abbasid, up against Zertan, and the green trunks once again, as English. So in their game three, their best of three, winner of this. Goes through the grand final. The loser of this goes away uh, third place in the tournament. So who will it be, guys? Everything's on the line here. English versus Abbasid. Got early yeah. barracks here with uh, Man at Arms production. Certain going for that early gold mine harass. I feel so validated because Zertan's doing uh, man at arms rushing. I do that too. Except I tend to fuck up the eco. <laughs> but sort of. He is gonna see this. Oh, is he gonna see it? Yeah, yeah, he does see it. He's gonna go for a defensive outpost in response. The man of arms going straight on the villagers. Might be able to force one of them back. Rather than garrisoning in the town, the uh, tower itself, no, sort of, it's going to be alright to keep gathering gold. For the time being, certain, no more man at arms on the way, he's just got the two. And transfer to the mining camp. The House of Wisdom. Gonna go up for sort of. But he is gonna have to rely on these guys garrisoning in order to be able to chip away at the man at arms. And while they're doing that, they're not gathering, so. So it's gonna attempt whittle down the villages to really force sort of play very in intense early game here. In the meanwhile, is that going to be working towards age 2? Sort of working towards age 2 as well, be getting that eco wing now. The scout looking to try and work on the, the man at arms should they get any lower because even though he can't really kill them, he can regen health. These guys sort of can't early on. Although, depending on what landmarks that and goes for, oh, he is going to go for Council Hall, so he's got longbow production, but he could have gone King's Abbey, he would have access to early healing. So, low villages being cycled out here by Sword of. Still having to keep a villager here in the tower. Just want to make sure he gets other stuff done around his base, and this just sort of stops Zertan from engaging it all here. Eventually, sort of, can just swap this guy, this girl out in favour of another villager. Full health, put it on the gold mine. He should be alright for now, but is that no doubt going to look at trying to hit pretty hard and fast with maybe some more of them and some longbows and really deny easy access to second town centre Abbasid here. Although this stone mine right next to the outpost will be Quite handy for sort of. Just by throwing it here, actually, yeah, it covers both the gold and the stone. Mother. 
sort of only has the wood on the front side of his base, so I think certain probably try and manipulate that. Bearing in mind Zerton's only got wood on really at one side of his base too, so if you you know you pressure them here it makes it very hard to gain wood at the back end of the game. So stables for sort of. Zerton's very close to picking off a Ville there. And able to save the man at arms. Yeah, have stables to try and just front line against these man at arms while archers pick them off. But Zerton will be producing longbows and spears and maybe even a handful more man at arms later on once his food eco picks up a bit more. It's quite difficult for anyone to hold out that doesn't have access to either knights or man at arms, particularly the English, uh, particularly against English, because once their farm ecos are up and running, you know they've effectively got infinite food. Early, early longbow hit here, able to actually snipe one of the lower health villages, so that's quite nice there for Zert. That'll be what he's looking for here. Briefly how so he's not up entirely by one villager, but even still just dropping an early vill here while knowing you haven't killed any of your opponents and That you'd be slightly down by up to one full villager cycle is uh, Obviously quite powerful So golden age tier one kicking in our Abbasid player gonna relish in bonus gather rate that amounts to basically a free eco tech for each resource. Pretty solid, but bearing in mind our English player with their longbows, that extra range. This would be quite tough for Sword Off. Like I said, the other uh, big wood patch for him is on that same side of his base. And even if there was more wood on this lower side, he's not necessarily wanting to just throw down more lumber camps over there after having already committed to two over here. Zerton pulling back just to make sure, sort of, he's not attempting to hit him, but sort of. I'll try and take the opportunity to pick off the scout, or take the long way round. Oh, he's just gonna keep adding to his army for the moment. Zerton actually queuing up man at arms here. I called it, I called it, I fucking called it. Not making any longbows for the moment. Start warming himself in slightly, sort of. The pressure's off for the moment. He's seemingly able to take map control for a little bit. He does have those horsemen split up, trying to gain a bit of vision. Just make sure nothing from the English players out in the map. I'm gonna do some cheeky harass. The town center is gonna be nice and safe. Just bearing in mind the Abbasid player committing to the town center, the uh, English player is just committing to more expensive units. So his infantry gonna be the same price as the horsemen. The longbows, ten more resources than the archers. So and having to go for an early farm. Eco at this stage as well, obviously, it does slow you down slightly, but I mean, they're English farms, so you gather from them faster, they're half the price of regular farms, so it's definitely worth it in the long run. That means just even with that bit of harass, um, sort of, there's a nice reprieve here, Got enough space to get the second town center. And saying that, that's quite a force now for our English player. And with longbows instead of, I mean, with man at arms instead of spears, it becomes very difficult to try and engage us at all as the Abyssin player. So longbows will constantly just outrange your archers. Well, even though the man at arms won't kill and, and snare the horsemen as fast and as much as uh, 
Spears would. They're just that much tankier against the archers that sort of can't really invest into any more archers to just rely on them to just take a big fight against Zertan's longbow ball here. Sort of is going to have to try and get towards Castle, I think, if he wants to try and break Zertan's hold here. And I mean, Zertan's really started to warm himself in, so sort of not a huge amount of raiding opportunity. And Zertan could possibly wall off that section still. Sort of could still hit it and possibly get some kills, but Zertan has been very active out in the map and now getting sort of scout it'll be painful for sort of he's not going to want to be making another one at the moment but he is going to have to just so you can keep an eye on what Zertan's doing out in the map he's going to have to try and warm himself in a little bit Zertan not going to overextend things he's just going to go for King's Palace now so he will get Castle Age while the Abbasid player we're getting Castle Age as well. The King's Palace is going to mean that Zertan will have the Town Centre that his opponent's already got out as well. So sort of... Hasn't really... Oops. Hasn't really found a chance to uh, get any aggression off himself this game so far, but he may be able to yet. Zertan adding another barrack, so he's not going to worry about transitioning to Knights just yet. Just going to double down on not even mixed infantry, he's just spamming out these mounted arms. So, props to him. I fucking love mounted arms, man. Horseman raiding here for Sword Off. So this might deal a bit of damage. Zertan's going to have to well, there is a couple of spears hiding amongst them. I didn't even see them there. So very cheeky for Zertan. Didn't even see those little guys hiding away there. Sort of does get a villager, but he doesn't want to lose the whole horseman pack. Trade six horsemen to get three or four villagers. Because Zertan, now that he's got the King's Palace, is going to be able to bounce back from slight hits to his eco. That's the same fashion that uh, Sort of now is. Big mounted arms push while these horsemen trying to find an opportunity. There's no spears parked amongst the wood gatherers there, but bearing in mind they can just garrison. Gate. Gonna go down. At least three spears there. They are actually able to take that fight, unfortunately, for those horsemen. They're not quite knights. Might have the health pool to just sit there and tank through a couple of spear shots to actually fight them back. That's looking a bit scary here for Sword of. He's trying to get preservation of knowledge so we can get some Castle Age upgrades out. He's start producing some of his own lances here and some crossbows to really be able to deal with these mana dumps, but because Zertan's just massed them up and taken their Castle Age upgrade now, there's not really any uh, counter to the heavy units here for sort of just yet, so it's been a really nice timing push here for Zertan. The Knights, the Lancers, sorry, are going to be able to trade quite well, especially because the Longbows aren't going to deal great damage to them, but still they're fighting uphill in terms of the unit number. See that one dying. So we're getting picked off as well, and a lot of gold gatherers now being singled out by a certain, so sort of really under the pump at the moment. And Man at Arms catching what's left of those horsemen, so GG. What was going on up here? Ah, yep, Zertan had managed to find sort of's next uh, gathering point. It's definitely over by then, so Zertan takes the series 2 to 1.